guys, Eagle Eye here. Today, I'm I'm going to be having a conversation with my good friend Neon Locust about Operation Health. Now, what are you? This is the video that we're going to be showing you guys. We're going to be talking about this in later detail as it's going on. But if you look on the blue team, later when we're all loading into the match, there's this one guy who will not stop loading. The one-step matchmaking was supposed to prevent these people from getting in lobbies with people like us. They were supposed to be all in their one lobby. Well, what are you, what is your opinions about this, Neon? Well, one thing is, the, the guy either has really terrible connection or Operation Health is not doing what it's supposed to. I, I would have to agree there, because Operation Health, the one-step matchmaking was supposed to fix this. It was supposed to get people in the matches with other people, like their internet connection and their ping. That way you didn't have quite badly of um, Peter's, Peter's advantage. And then the uh, tick rate was supposed to stay at a solid 60. Well, clearly it's not doing its job. Now, I will admit the two good things that uh, has come from Operation Health are, has been the one-step matchmaking and is about to be the Alpha Pats. Alpha Pats are awesome. Would you not agree? Yes, they are. Alright. So, what we're going to do now is this guy is still loading. Like, I mean, literally you can look at this and see that he is still loading. No matter what. Like, this was supposed to be fixed. But let's get into the thing that m most people got mad about, about Operation Health. The delay of our operators and no Season 2 map. Now, what are your opinions about this? It's crazy. That means that either we're never getting that map, or it's going to come out, like, in another season. Yeah, well, they've come out and just plain said that we're not getting, um... The map in this year's like season pass or seasons this year's four seasons but we are getting the operators which is good for season pass holders but i still think they should have done something for the season pass holders who were expecting operators this yeah. season like a week early access to those operators too what are, what are your opinions since we're both season pass holders i think they should add like to where we could have like a like a two-week trial of the new operators like just to get a feel for them yeah yeah well we get an early week access to them but that's the thing though like they we're not getting we're getting three operators in one season and then three operators in another instead of our normal two now what are your opinions about them not giving us the, our operators this season it's kind of trash i mean New season shouldn't be new operators, but apparently not this season. Now, I would have to say that Rainbow Six Siege needed an Operation Health, right? Yeah. But did it need this Operation Health? Not at all. No, 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 no. It, it, it would have been a good idea if they could add one-step matchmaking and alpha pads, because I know several people who are not willing to spend rainbow credits to get those elite operator skins or stuff that can only be bought with rainbow credits, so it's nice that they can earn those in alpha pads. Yeah. But, the thing is, they, they needed a different operation help that helped the tip, that really helped connection issues. Because I see people with not, literally 900 ping in, with people with 60 ping. Like, that's just crazy, in my opinion. Yeah, I got into a game yesterday. I was at a solid, like, 61, 62 ping. A guy joined with it, over a thousand connection. Yeah, see, and he's probably somewhere down in, uh, I don't Zimbabwe. know. <laughs> no, Australia, on the other side of the planet. And, see, Ubisoft doesn't have servers down there, or very large servers. If they don't, if they have servers, they're not very large. So, what Ubisoft needs to do is focus on those people, get those people into lobbies with those other people, that way their connection's not so high. Would you agree? Yeah. Now, what, what are your... What are your opinions on this whole Operation Health? They should have added more. They really should have. They sh and they need an Operation Health, so I'm going to say, instead of adding more, they should have done more. Yeah. Um, by the way, this video that you're watching now, it was provided by my good friend Neon Lucas. Again, link in the description to his channel. Check him out. But another thing that people are... 
mad about is that Ubisoft did nothing to reimburse the season pass holders. Yep. What do you think they should have done to reimburse the season pass holders for this season? New operators. <laughs> <laughs> new operators. Okay, let's 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 just be honest. Okay, let, if they didn't add new operators, I would say they needed to maybe maybe hopefully I'm I'm hoping that since we're that they're just going to give season pass holders maybe five alpha packs yeah. or a legendary alpha packs or something. I, I mean, I really don't know what they're going to do, but I wish they would have reimbursed us somehow. Maybe a limited edition weapon skin that only season pass holders could have gotten if you were part of this operation uh, health. But charm, headgear, something like that. Just something that would make us look better than noobs. Ha, <laughs> <Huh>, very funny. <laughs> so, <clears throat> recruit. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really... I think we needed an Operation Health, but I don't think we needed this Operation Health. No. And as you saw there, there's still you one guy that's loading after player. everybody else. It's, it's, just, it's just weird and crazy and not not what I expected from Operation Health. What did you think when you were going into Operation Health? What did you think it would be like? <laughs> Faster connection speeds, not as many laggy people, and hoping that there would be... um. Like different things that you could do. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Now, something else I would like to point out is they have improved some stuff in Operation Health. So let's go over that. The one step matchmaking. Matches, I remember you used to get a team of five, and then you did a team of four, and just one guy, you'd be trying to search for a guy for literally five minutes. Now you'd be lucky. Now you'd be considered rare to get even a minute in the matchmaking process. Yeah. Now, these, uh, these uh, other changes, there were some smaller changes, like to the tip rate and everything, which was supposed to help the ping and connection. You just saw there, we got, we still, pretty much everybody in this lobby has pretty good connection. And there's a few guys that are higher up there. But, every, for the most part, everybody has good connection in this lobby. Now, another thing I would like to point out is they have tweaked a few operators. <laughs> glass. Um, I hate that they debuffed Glass. And what was that? The crowbar just went through the barricade. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Well, I, I, I would say Glass needed a debuff. Like, he was a one-man army. But the question is, did he need that much of a debuff? No. They, they slowed his aiming time, which is stupid. Okay. Now let's talk about a few things that our version of Operation Health would include. The main thing is buff Blackbeard. Blackbeard is used to be OP, now he's just never ever viable in a firefight. He could make the difference, he could, but the chances of that are like 1 in 50. Yeah. So, that's just something I have to say. I wish they would have buffed Blackbeard. And another thing I wish they would have done is improved, no, improved all these glitch spots. Oh, yes. There are still so many glitch spots. You know that, uh, right there in the video, did you see, did you guys see the, uh, soda machine? There is a way that you can get inside that soda machine, shoot out, no one can shoot in. They should, they should fit stuff like that. Because that just makes the game not fun at all. Another thing. People with, they've figured out how to get more and more like different ways to hack the game oh my god yes there is so many so i'm um, so many hackers i come into and some of them aren't hackers some of them just have really high pain and you what on your screen you hit them on other screens you didn't so yeah but guys this has been our conversation about operation health i would like to say thank you for tuning in thanks for all your support guys like subscribe and remember rainbow on little 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 league